Good morning. It's Adam from everydayadam.ca and today is day one of my East Coast trip and I'm uh, just getting out of Sandy Hill here in Ottawa. Today I hope to make it all the way down to St. Regis Falls down in the United States. So we'll be crossing the border in Cornwall and I hope uh, about four hours from now. It's a beautiful day and I am super excited to go on this trip. Hopefully I have brought everything. Well, I just uh, got out of basically the downtown area of Ottawa. It was pretty uneventful. For those people that aren't from Ottawa, the bicycle inf infrastructure is actually really, really good. A lot of the major roads have wide paved shoulders and there's a lot of dedicated bike lanes pretty much all over the entire city. I'm just pulled over here. I just got to the Prescott Russell Trail link. It's an old railway line so for the next uh, I think 20 or 30 kilometers it's going to be flat and straight and boring actually. I don't mind these rail lines. They're pretty easy biking, but I find it kicks up a lot of dust and gets the bike really dirty, so we'll see. I think we're going to see a lot of railways on this trip as a whole. wheeler but so far no unusual squeaks or rattles and uh, we're moving actually pretty quickly with an average speed of 20 kilometers an hour I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I just passed the town of Enbrun, I think. The road conditions are pretty nice. And you know, the bike is still moving like a freight train. It's pretty much impossible to dodge any potholes or anything like that. But I'm moving at a pretty steady clip. Got an average speed of 21.9 kilometers an hour so far and I'm about a third of the way. Hey guys! Never seen a cyclist before? Had my first uh, classic touring experience there. A dog just ran out from one of those farm fields and chased me for a good few minutes there. It seemed quite friendly, but uh, it was kind of pushing me off the road there. It's pretty funny. Just made it to the Long Sioux. Just made it to the Long Sioux Parkway. On the right is uh, the St. Lawrence River. It's a pretty nice parkway actually. There's a couple good camping spots like uh, McLaren Island and Mill Rush. Great if you like uh, carp fishing. back there. I was able to refill my water bottles, get some ice, and uh, wash my face too. It's, it's pretty hot out. It's pretty grimy. And I had to buy some water. I bought like an extra one and a half liter bottle. It's just too hot for just the two water bottles. So hopefully I won't have to buy anything else today. On the 
waterfront trail network now. I'm still outside of Cornwall. I think I'm in a place called Stormont. But this network of trails actually follows the St. Lawrence River, I think, all the way from, geez, Toronto or Kingston, all the way up to Montreal. Uh, you might have seen earlier this year, actually, when I went from Kingston to Brockville with Anna, uh, we were also on the waterfront trail uh, going through the Thousand Islands Parkway. Oh boy, hills are going to be fun later on. <laughs> this bike with me is like 312 pounds or something right now. It's, it'll get lighter by the time I reach the Cabot Trail because I have a lot of food on me right now. But, uh... <laughs> Still going to be a lot. Pretty cool. There's no uh, toll to cross the bridge as a pedestrian or a cyclist if you take the sidewalk. We're just crossing over the St. Lawrence. Oh man, such a cool bridge to cross, but this hill is brutal. 4.2 degrees. Oh. First big hill of the day. First big hill on the loaded bike, and oh boy, it's gonna be a long trip. Still climbing, man. Look at the view, though. So maybe this is the St. Lawrence. I don't know what that other part was. Maybe just a fork. Pretty cool. And just like that, we're in New York. Took uh, six hours and 50 minutes. Uh, so, you know, a little bit long, but still, average speed is still 20 kilometers an hour, which is excellent. And I have about 50 kilometers to go until my pre planned stop after St. Regis. There we go. So, the border crossing went without a hitch. Uh, the border guard, she had a bunch of funny questions for me, wondering what on earth I was doing, but uh, otherwise no problem. And I just noticed that I'm at 125 kilometers, meaning there's only about 45 kilometers left until my destination. Oh, I need to change gears. And that in itself is pretty cool. Because that means I'll have quite a bit of time to find a good campsite. But I also checked and saw that I've only done about 300 meters of elevation so far in the first 125 kilometers. So what that means is that oh man, the next 40 kilometers is going to be about 500 meters of elevation. So. I'm going to have to slow down the pace quite a bit. I'm already feeling it in my bones. And the roads are really shitty. Surprise! Another farm! like an angel appearing out of nowhere. Man, it is freaking crazy hot out. And I keep running out of water. I'm 
I'm pretty exhausted. At 163 kilometers. We still have a little bit less than 10 kilometers to go before the town of St. Regis where I can refill my water and start looking for a campsite for the night. Uh, the nice thing is that it's only five o'clock, so about a few hours before sundown to rest. Well, there it is, St. Regis Falls, except that I just realized I dropped one of my cycling gloves. I just dropped my glove back there somewhere. I'm gonna go back a little ways and see if I can find it. <laughs> I just met a super fantastic couple there, Cindy and Don. They ran that little uh, produce stand there and they grow most of the stuff on their own. It was really kind of cool because just a couple years ago they had done a tour of the Rio Canal and so they had a lot to talk about uh, about Ottawa of course where I'm from anyways I was able to get some fresh peaches and uh, fresh sugar snap peas cucumber all pretty fantastic for two bucks These are the St. Regis Falls. Well, I made it to my destination, St. Regis Falls. And I even went to see the actual falls, which were uh, pretty cool. Uh, the nice thing is that campground had running water, so I was able to wash a day's grime off me and refill all my water bottles and now on this road here I'm basically just looking for a place to spend the night and I'm done hopefully I find something in the next couple kilometers Well, it's getting dark. Uh, honestly, I don't have a lot of options. Oh man. Uh oh, the mosquitoes are rabid in here. Uh, it's pretty late now. The sun just went down. You probably won't be able to see me very well, but uh, I had a really hard time finding a campsite. Uh, the river road coming off of St. Regis was pretty well populated for kilometers and kilometers and kilometers. But eventually I found like an ATV slash dirt bike track. I pulled into it and set up camp. It's pretty damp everywhere, but uh, I was able to cook some rice and eat some tuna. And hopefully get a good sleep and wake up before there's any activity around here. I decided not to use the rain fly because we actually have some pretty good weather. And I'm watching Alien on my tablet, which is maybe not a great idea in the middle of the woods in strange territory, but oh well. Good night. <laughs>